now to our top story. Today is chemist Niels Bohr's birthday. Yet not many people know his contributions to the field of chemistry, or for that matter, who Niels Bohr was. Field reporter Matt Mays on the story. Matt? Greetings and salutations. We are about to embark on an adventure. An adventure of science. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, behold the beautiful footage of a great scientist, Niels Bohr. Now, today we have a very special guest, Niels Bohr. Niels Bohr, where were you born? I was born October 7th, 1885. Where exactly did you grow up? And who's your daddy and what does he do? I grew up in Copenhagen, Denmark. My father was Christian Bohr, the professor of psychology at the University of Copenhagen. Um, did you play any sports, uh, such as soccer? I was a passionate soccer player. A goalie. What did you do after your education? I became a professor at the University of Copenhagen. Um... Have you won any prizes? I won the Nobel Prize in physics. Why? I won it for the investigation of the atom structure and the radiation emanating from them. Are you right-handed? I hear you worked with the Atom. What was that like? Ah, uh, yes. I made the board model. Really? Yes. What's sort of model of? An Atom. Explain. Alright, I will. The Bohr model depicts the Atom as a small, positively charged nucleus, surrounded by electrons that travel in circular orbits around the nucleus. Sort of like the structure of the solar system, but with electrostatic forces providing attraction rather than gravity. I hear you worked with quantum mechanics. What was that like? Quantum mechanics describes the motion of the electrons around the nucleus. The foundation of it is pretty much just the electrons jumping orbit to orbit. I hear you're involved in a project involving Manhattan. What was that like? You mean the Manhattan Project? Um, yeah, sure, yeah. Well, I didn't really do any work. But I was a consultant. Could we hear any more uh, information about your findings? Well, yes. I, in fact, I brought an entire packet of information in case you ask this question. Alright. When an electron is allowed to orbit, it does not radiate. Thus, the model simply draws a classical electromagnetic theory. Please note, an allowed orbit is one in which the electron mass times its speed times the radius of the orbit 
is equal to a positive integer n times Planck's constant divided by 2 pi. The integer n can be 1, 2, 3, any number. In fact, there is an infinite number of allowed orbits corresponding to the infinite number of positive integers. Four hours later. An electron absorbs energy from an incident electromagnetic radiation. It quantum jumps into a higher energy allowed state. This higher energy state corresponds to a loud You're orbit. Still here? With the higher energy value of the integer what n. Time? You went three hours over your limit. Go home. Go! Go! go. Just go! Just go! Quantum mechanics describes the motion of the electrons around your nucleus. The foundation is... A